The Net Zero Whole Life Carbon Roadmap aims to set out a common vision and industry-wide actions for achieving net zero carbon for the UK built environment, which is currently directly responsible for 25% of total UK greenhouse gas emissions. The Roadmap's Net Zero trajectory outlines a pathway to net zero carbon by 2050, with emissions categorised by built environment sectors. Over 100 stakeholders were involved in developing the Roadmap, highlighting the crucial role of each and every actor across the value chain in achieving net zero carbon in the construction, operation and demolition of buildings and infrastructure in the UK. In particular, the Roadmap highlights 14 key stakeholders, all of whom have a bespoke action plan with recommended actions to accelerate progress towards a net zero built environment. I'll now talk through some of these stakeholders, starting with investors, who are crucial to establishing a financial landscape which favours investment that contributes to our net zero goals. Next are developers, who set the brief and level of ambition for projects and have influence over the actions of other stakeholders. Next is design teams, comprising architects, engineers and other consultants who have a responsibility to ensure that early design decisions prioritise whole life carbon reductions. Now onto contractors and material and product manufacturers, who are key to reducing the sector's supply chain and construction emissions by providing, selecting and installing materials and products with the lowest whole life carbon impact. We then have landlords and owners, occupiers and facilities managers, whose key role includes ensuring our buildings operate in the most safe, efficient and comfortable way possible. Finally, we have infrastructure clients, owners and designers, who deliver crucial built environment services such as water supply or energy networks that enable our society to function. The actions are split into three categories to enable stakeholders to play their part in achieving the Roadmap's goals, whilst recognising varying organisational contexts and current market feasibility. The first is the immediate actions, which stakeholders should look to adopt as soon as possible, a few of which are shown here. While progress by 2025 and by 2030 demonstrate the outcomes that are crucial to achieving net zero and are dependent on the sector implementing the urgent actions now. These action plans should be used by each stakeholder to inform and steer the design and delivery process to accelerate the decarbonisation of our built environment. Although the stakeholders all have their own distinct action plans, it is important to recognise that they all interlink, and collaboration is key to creating effective briefs and procurement strategies to achieve our net zero goals. Ultimately, the stakeholder action plans all aim to support progress towards the five key priorities highlighted by the roadmap, consisting of areas that government and industry need to support and implement in order to achieve a net zero carbon built environment. To find out more about the Net Zero Whole Life Carbon Roadmap, please visit our website.